Now that we've uh, looked at the first form of begging the question, remember there's two, and uh, the equivalency form, let's look at the second form, which is the dependency form. And I'm, I am dragging out, I must admit, a very standard example. It's a little tired, but it gets the point across, and uh, I think it's fairly easy to understand. Um, so forgive me for using a, a very standard example in philosophy. You're going to prove the age-old question, the existence of God. And, and here is a version of a, a, of a dependency begging the question. So a dependent, an issue of a fa uh, an example of a fallacy and the dependency form. Something like this. Uh, the Bible is trustworthy. The Bible is the uh, uh, word of God. Um, and the Bible says that God exists. Hence, therefore, there's our inference being from the premises down to the conclusion, God exists. Now, it's not really the case that any of these are strictly just an equivalency because this isn't really just simply a reformulation of, of anything in the premises so but yet it is still uh, regarded as a, as a fallacy and an dependency version sometimes people will call the particular the petitio principi all these things be of begging the question uh, circular reasoning there is a sense in that the key idea uh, in uh, this especially the dependency form in the circular reasoning is that you're somehow, what you're trying to prove, that is, remember, what you're trying to prove is the conclusion, right? So the conclusion comes at the end, it's at the bottom, the end of the structure we call the argument, premises, conclusion. That's the whole thing, that's the argument. And the premises are supposed to support and lead to the conclusion, and the conclusion is going to be something that you, you've proven or you've shown. Well, the dependency form says something like this that what you're trying to prove is actually being presupposed up here, hence the circle, right? You're, you're starting from one point, you seem to be going to another, but really you're just coming back to something you've already started with. So it's a metaphor, but in any case, um, we as we go on through the course, you'll, you'll find that there all kinds of discussions and arguments have to preach suppose something to get off the ground, right? You can't start from just nothing. But this is a very blatant form of the fallacy, the dependency version, because if you look at something like this, uh, the Bible is trustworthy. Uh, okay, uh, you know, you, you might say, well, what, what's, what's the reason for that? Oh, well, because it's the word of God. That's why it's trustworthy. So there's a little bit of an argument going on inside the premises, right? The Bible is trustworthy because it's the word of God. And then you have a new thing here where it says that God exists. But if you look at these two closely, in order to say that, you know, to make sense of this one, the second premise, the Bible is the word of God, well, you have to say something like, well, uh, that really only is meaningful if, uh, if, if God exists. But that's what you're trying to show, right? You, you, so, in other words, if you're going to get these, this argument, shall we say, off the ground, you're going to have to presuppose that this one here is uh, uh, going to uh, 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 be the case, right? That, that, that it is the case that the Bible is the word of God and that this one here is only going to be meaningful if somehow existence of God is already in. So basically, what you're doing in this one is you are presupposing what you're trying to prove. And so, in other words, that the premises are, are depending, they're leaning on, the, the, to get this off the ground, you're leaning on the conclusion. That's really the opposite way of it should go. It's that the conclusion flows out of the premises, not that the premises are dependent on the conclusion. So, be careful of this. This is common that uh, uh, people will somehow sneak a presupposition uh, namely, their conclusion will be snuck in as a presupposition. So remember, the, the, the thing that's going on here is, is it is a fallacy here to basically be presupposing what you're trying to prove. And that happens a lot in discussions. People will silently presuppose it in a certain way. It might not be blatant. Sometimes you have to dig in and go, wait a second, this doesn't make any sense unless you've presupposed here what is only supposed to emerge down here. All right, so there's your two uh, forms, the equivalency and the dependency form of particular 
for keeping begging the question. Remember, it's not demanding the question. It's it's uh, uh, looking at uh, if you've been proving or just restating uh, what you're supposed to prove at the end of the argument. Now let's look at the next form of the fallacy.